Hey guys, welcome to the Uncharted 4 review. Now, when it comes to my own Uncharted history, it's pretty simple. I played Uncharted 1 through 4 in a span of probably one and a half years, let's say. So, I had never owned the PlayStation before the PlayStation 4, but once I had PlayStation 4, about six months after that, I did get PlayStation 3. Now, around six months after that, which is roughly one and a half years ago, I bought all the Uncharted games for PS3 and I played them through. And, you know, they were good. They were really good. So I was very excited, therefore, for, you know, Uncharted 4. To me, it was a great thing uh, to get this new game and I was really, really excited about it. But I wasn't, you know, all hyped or anything. I was just excited to, you know, get a new Uncharted 4. So obviously I pre-ordered the game. It was, you know, one of the big releases for me this year. So with that said, it wasn't like I was um, following the trailers or anything like that. I just had a date that when the game would be released. And obviously the game got pushed back a little bit. So... It didn't bother me you know and finally when I got the game I started to play the game obviously and there's that you know initial feeling you have that you're just excited to get back into the game and um, it's it's great so the problem was that it really started to get stale in the chapters uh, from 1 to 9 let's say the first nine chapters were I hate to say it, not boring, but stale. You know, they could have wrapped it up a little bit and it, it was just not really going anywhere. It was, there was too much background things going on. And this part right here, when I got to play uh, Crash Bandicoot was actually, well, the most exciting part of the whole game during the first probably five hours, let's say. So the first five hours were um, a bit of a struggle for me. I mean, there is that thing that you're excited to play the game, but it's not really going anywhere. And when it is going, it's going really slowly. And I mean painfully slowly. The best part was really to get to know Sam, who is this guy. Um, this guy lying down here, who is Drake's brother. Now, obviously, we didn't know anything about him before. So then, you know, you get to know him and... Uh, that that introduction could have been you know faster maybe didn't need that much time and the pace started to pick up a little bit around this time when they went to the auction so that was nice but then it dropped again after that for another hour uh, maybe hour and a half but that was the you know first nine chapters let's say so to me that was kind of like a hump I had to get over because I only played about six hours in the first two days and on the last day I played I don't know how many hours but I finished the whole game so I played nine chapters in the first two game uh, in the first two days because it was just really slow paced and I didn't feel like picking up the controller to continue I did other stuff at home but then once it actually started to pick up it was vice versa it was like I couldn't you know Put the controller down so from chapters let's say 9 or 10 to end of the game it was just fun it was just adventure it was like you finally had your you know sense of adventure back and there was less climbing especially <laughs> and look at this like this is a funny part right here because in the beginning of the game there was so much climbing and I understand it's part of the game it's good I like it but there has to be a balance and the balance was really not all that good there you know because you were doing climbing about 70% of the game 15% were cutscenes and 15% were, were you know you doing something other than that maybe you know fixing a puzzle or actually got into a fight or something like that but yeah it was like at least 60% of the time you were just climbing 
the, I think the perfect balance in there is what you had towards the end where it was like maybe 35-40% climbing and everything else was balanced like just perfectly so I don't know what happened there with the game maybe there were some devil you know in the dev process there was something going on and um, I don't know but it just the this it was so slow in the beginning and that kind of bothered me a lot because it was weird I never imagined you know putting the word boring with uncharted but it was boring in the beginning I, I have to be honest and once you got to these parts you know when slowly it started to pick up and then you finally start to get you know your hunches together and you start to you know get get a sense of where the treasure is and you get on the track that's when the whole thing picked up and then you had a sense of you know achievement going on like each chapter you actually achieved something like you were closer to the end goal and it wasn't like the first chapters when you were just like basically sitting around rolling your fingers kind of feeling that I had at least now this is personal now I know when it comes to these big releases you're supposed to be I guess you're supposed to be if you look at the big outlets and whatnot you're always supposed to give them a good score because they're big releases you know and it's universally known that you have to give them something between 9 and 10 or at least an 8 even if the game sucks now that being said Uncharted 4 is way way far away from sucking like that is not even an option now sure if I just uh, give up and you know called it a game after five hours this score had been probably somewhere around seven and a half or something but obviously I did not do that I continued you know I went through the threshold of getting through those first chapters and then finally when it started to get good around chapter 9 that's when the whole game was just awesome and and that's that's what I would say you know because from there it was just awesome it was like exp exploring stuff and then the puzzles were great uh, some chase sequences and I'm actually glad that there wasn't too much emphasis on the you know whole shooting thing and the violence wasn't in a big role like it was in Uncharted 3 and somewhat in Uncharted 2 also well let's be honest in, in every Uncharted game basically so then we got our supporting people in the game so we got basically two villains who are working together and there's the dynamic between those two and at the same time we have the good guys who are Sully, Sam, Alina, and of course Nate. And those four, you know, they have their own chemistry between them and maybe issues and other stuff going on there. But most of all, you got the two, well, actually, you could say even three, but the two main uh, things you have there going on, and they all, you know, tie up to Nate, is that you have Sam's and Nate's relationship, because Sam was presumed dead for 15 years and uh, let's not spoil too much that but you know you find that out quite early in the game why now there is that and then he comes basically back from the dead you know just one day and is like hey I'm alive blah 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 this and that so I need your help bro so you know obviously Nate who is now at that time retired He's gonna go help his brother but since Nate is basically now like I said retired and trying to you know live a normal life with Alina then there comes that problem so there's you know personal dynamics going in every direction which is cool and for quite a lot of the game I actually felt like it was some kind of interactive movie Especially in the beginning when it was really stale and um, you just felt less on hands, you know, with the whole game. But 
I liked it. Uh, you know, like I said, everything that happened in this game, the more I played it, the more I liked it. And then when I got towards the end of the game, I actually did feel kind of sad. So, I got sad because I realized that this actually is the last Uncharted game. Now, the way they ended it, there is a possibility of, you know, the game continuing somehow. You know, the franchise continuing somehow, but it's about, I would say, 75-80% sure that Uncharted series came to an end here. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's a, you know, great conclusion. This game was a great way to end the franchise. I liked it and I support the way it ended so to me there's no controversy there or anything like that there were many ways they could have ended this game and the way they ended it it was it was fitting and it was a happy ending and most of all uh, some of the positive stuff I want to bring about this game is the maturity of the game now I'm probably in the same age that Nate is in this game, you know, 30 something, 30, I don't know how old he is in this game, maybe like 30, 32, 35, something like that. So I'm like about that age, 32 myself. So uh, the mature things that subjects that are going on here, like the relationship between him and his wife and all that, you know, it feels relatable to me. So the younger audiences might not get that part so much. But I appreciated the storytelling in this game a lot. It was very intelligent and emotional to me. So that was all good. That was all awesome, all good. And it was something that you very rarely see in a video game. And I'll be honest, like I am conflicted on what to give this game as a score because just the way the game makes you feel emotionally, it's something that very few games manage to do. Very few games. The last game I played that made me feel that way was Beyond Two Souls. And um, I'm talking about now the storytelling and the way you feel with the characters. So, so yeah, that way is just something you guys have to experience for yourselves. Now, this clip I chose for that a specific reason because <laughs> I actually got very emotional here I thought that something actually happened to her because at that point you're so invested in these characters and if you have come the journey from the first game to this last game and then you see Alina and you think that she's dead at this point and you kind of really feel bad because you're like oh my god it's the last game did they decide to kill her and then you realize it's a joke and you just you're relieved at that point and that is something that games don't do enough I, I believe personally I think that not all games have to be intelligent but the ones that are and manage to pull it off as greatly as Naughty Dog has now with their series and with this game is just something I feel like I want to applaud so that more people could do it now once again i don't mean everyone has to do that like right now i'm playing doom and that's another review that's coming out once i finish that but anyway i'm playing doom and that has basically not much at all of a story it's just like go kill go kill but this right here this scene and this whole game is awesome i want to applaud naughty dog and i want to tell them keep going on guys i'll give you a 9.8 out of 10 unfortunately there was few bugs in the game few just like two maybe and they didn't repeat and this start was so slow but yet this is an epic game and um 9.8 from me i wish it had been so slow in the beginning it would have been a perfect 10 so all right guys take care have a nice day and keep up on the channel peace